Hey there. Tired of being poor in Rebel Galaxy Outlaw? Are you terrible at dogfighting? Well, look no further because I have the solution. Mining. So, Umbra, how do we mine, you ask? Well, it's quite simple. See, any ship can be outfitted to mine. However, there are some that will excel over others. For instance, check out my Sonora here. This ship comes standard with 12 units of cargo space, 3 weapon hardpoints, and a turret mount. I got mine with the blackout package and a cargo extender for 10 more units of space. Okay, so what do you need? Uh, well, uh, first you're going to need a mining laser. Duh. You can't mine without a mining laser. Who would have thought? I know. Insane. Um, but you're also going to need a mining scanner. Uh, without that, you won't see any of the rocks that are mineable. Uh, and much less you won't see their hotspots. Um, and then lastly, you could get a mining turret if the ship you're using has a turret mount like this one does. Um, it's not needed at all, um, unless we're talking about the Durston, which is a much bigger, heavier ship, in which case it might actually benefit from having a turret. But again, that's completely up to you. Um, so I'll let you guys decide that. I went ahead and uh, attached one here just so I can show you guys, but normally I wouldn't have it on, at least on this ship. So next thing you want to do, um, you'll want to look for a good station that you can sell all of your ore to. Uh, I wouldn't spend too much time here. Um, in fact, I'll go ahead and tell you where I'm mining at right now. Uh, the Shady Refinery has some pretty good prices uh, on what they're buying. They have artifacts, anomalies, and obtainium ore well above market price. So that's why I'm here. Uh, it took me about 20 minutes to find this uh, uh, this station, but we're here, so we're going to make the most out of it. Okay, so what you're going to do uh, once you get to your belt uh, is you're going to uh, run the scan, just like you would uh, for when you're searching for enemies or uh, items, things of interest. Uh, and uh, when you're in an, uh, a mining field, uh, it'll start to uh, highlight any rocks that you can mine. Uh, just fly right over to one of them. And when you hit the scanner again, uh, when you're closer to the rock, you'll start to see these hotspots show up. Just like this one. This is where you want to mine. Uh, anywhere else on the rock uh, will get you nothing. So you have to aim here, otherwise you'll just be shooting at the rock indefinitely almost uh, for no reason. I'm going to scan again, look for the next rock. There's one right over there. I'm going to fly straight to it. And start mining. Looks like that's safely in the hold. Okay, so how to use the turret? Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, I'm using a controller and I just press down on the d-pad it'll cycle through cockpit and turrets uh, I only have one so it's only one press for me and just obviously the turret is behind the ship so the ship's nose need to be pointing the opposite direction I can now look at the hotspot just as I would I can scan here in this uh, area as well and uh, mine it and then I can still collect it just as normal. Nothing's changed, the only difference is now you're using the turret. All right, so I'm just gonna mine the rest of this belt and I will get right back to you guys whenever I'm done.
looks like that's safely in the hold. Okay, and my hold is full. I can't pick up anything else. So at this point, you have two options. Uh, you can either go ahead and just stop right here, head straight to the station and sell everything off, or spend a little bit extra time and see if you can find anything else. I did a quick scan and I see there's another rock nearby and I look at my cargo and I have nothing but iron ore pretty much. Iron ore doesn't sell for all that much. So I'm gonna go ahead and check out that other rock see what it has in it and it'll probably have something better maybe not it's an extra 30 seconds at most so might as well check it out and look at that some obtainium obtainium sells for way more than iron ore does so i will gladly take that over some iron i'm just going to dump one unit of iron and you'll notice uh, oftentimes when you dump something, it'll show up in your tracking because it's probably the closest thing to your ship. So you can actually cycle through everything around you and pick up what you want to pick up. Uh, again, on controller, uh, that's going to be left bumper and then using the D-pad left or right to cycle through everything nearby. So grab the Obtainium more and now we're ready to sell. I will see you guys at the station. Okay, now we're back at the station. Uh, no trouble on the way here, so I didn't have to repair my ship. I just sold one unit of robot modules and one unit of CC grade starfish. Uh, I had it in my hold prior to mining, so I just wanted to get rid of it. Uh, our haul, nine iron, seven gold, and four obtainium. Okay, so we have 101,000 in the bank right now. Um, after we sell, we're at 136, so roughly 34,000 profit, which is pretty good. Um, but we can definitely do better, so we're going to go out for one more run. Okay, my hole is full and I'm ready to sell. I was going to go back to Shady Refinery where I previously sold, but I remembered that there's another refinery in the system next door up in Laredo. So I figured, you know what, uh, now's a good time to go check it out and see what the prices are looking like. So off we go. And here we are. Uh, prices look pretty good. Iron and gold are being uh, purchased at above market price. Everything else is a pretty good price as well. So might as well go ahead and sell at least the iron and gold here. And we'll go back to Shader Refiner to sell the rest of it. And just like that, easy 30000 simply from selling off the iron and the gold that I had. Now, before heading back, I decided to go check out the other station that was in the Laredo system. I just wanted to see what the prices looked like. I hadn't been to the station yet. And uh, they're actually not bad. Uh, they were buying um, Obtainium at above market average. Uh, so uh, I wasn't planning on selling here. And then I made a boo-boo and I started selling all of my stuff. Uh, I don't know why I thought I was at Shady, I guess. But it's okay. Um, you can actually see right there is where I realized my mistake. But uh, it's still profit. So uh, 23,000 credits uh, on that sale right there. So pretty good. Uh, combine that with the previous sale, 53K. And yeah, that's, uh, that's a much better outcome than the first run that we did. All right, boys and girls, that's going to do it for this video. I hope it was helpful. If you liked it, be sure to hit that like button. If you disliked it, then let me know why. I'm always looking to improve. 
Don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to see me live, you can find me up at twitch.tv slash Umber. Link in the description where I'm currently finishing up my playthrough of Purple Galaxy Outlaw. If you made it all the way through the end of the video, then let me see your best duck impersonation down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching.